Right, now call me and give me another credit. Yes. I'm going to have a bar or something now. Welcome back to My View TV, the people's platform the home of undiluted news, reviews, updates, and your daily dose of entertainment. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Leave us a comment, like, share, and subscribe. I don't bring nobody forward in your future for me. Everything where you see up my natural talent. Let me tell you something. You see, when you know what to please the audience with, it's simple me. Mark 15 and verse 16, and he said unto them, Go eat in all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. What go the people? Open oh, body, no gate, okay. open oh, body, no right. People, me have something to tell you now. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful news. I find myself alive and not dead. Every day above ground is a blessing. How oh, awesome it is to be amongst the living and surely, surely not amongst the dead. I have a word for somebody this morning. To be happy, you must let go of what's gone. Be grateful for what remains and look forward to what is coming next. Kiasa, me never tell you now. Something at the end of the tunnel, not only the light alone, then my me tell you that. But hold on, now, people, one only person think I got like the news, so I can just start right down at St. James. A 25 year old bartender employed to a popular St. James based hotel was charged with rape following an incident with a female guest on the property. The accused is Oday in the row, and people look like a long time, do them look at thing, you understand? The people from Chilani must do them because I don't pander side them come from. According to information reaching our news team, the woman who is an 18 year old student. Visiting from the United States of America reported went to a bar at the hotel where she was staying on Thursday to request a drink. After reporting receiving her drink from Ro, she was allegedly followed into a restroom and violated. A report was made to the Barnet Town Police Station and Ro was arrested. Ro was formally charged on Friday after he was pointed out by the complainant during an identification parade or a news team understand. This a boy should I get slapped with. Anyway, I can move on. A Westmoreland farmer on Friday was charged with wounded with intent and illegal possession of firearm after he was positively identified as the man who rode the motorcycle when a police officer was shot and injured in Little London, Westmoreland on August 10. The accused has been identified as 35-year-old Ian Campbell of Spring Garden District, Little London in the parish. Report reaching our news team that the police officer was at his home along with other relatives when a motorcycle with two men aboard drove up into the yard. The pillion disembarked the motorcycle and brandished a firearm open gunfire at the lawman who was sitting at a window to the side of the house, hitting him in the region of his neck. The man then escaped. The injured officer was rushed to the Savdamar Public General Hospital where he was treated and admitted in serious condition. The report said on Monday, Campbell was positively identified by an eyewitness as the man who rode the motorcycle with another man who shot and injured the police officer. So on the really I tell me so the police friend get shot and just go pick up boy so just like that. I lift boy should I get lift up and lie down board. So what I said then I mean what I said. Make I move on the news because the next four dishes are people. A policeman was shot and injured by a gunman in the vicinity of Inwood's traffic light along Old Arbor Road, St. Catherine, Friday evening. Report reaching our news team that a few hours after the attack on the lawman, the gunman was held when he turned up at the same hospital where the policeman was taken for medical treatment. The accused shooter, not the accused shooter, him shot the police and the police then fire and never get a slap him away. The 42 year old gunman was positively identified and arrested on the grounds of the medical facilities. Let me tell you people about one power go on here, man, before all of that reach right this up. Report that two policemen, a corporal and a constable, were traveling in an unmarked car and stopped at the Inzo traffic light where they observed a man jumping from a white coaster bus on the right side of the road armed with a firearm. Let me tell you something, people. You never give doctor enough here, you understand? Come here after the doctor. Report reaching our new team that the man pointed the gun in the direction of policemen and opened fire. Yes, people, the police returned the fire, resulting in the man fleeing on foot. After the shooting subsided, the police officer observed that he received a gunshot wound to his right thigh. He was assisted to the Spanish Town Hospital by the Spanish Town Police Unit. While at the hospital, a man said to be the accused shooter turned up suffering from gunshot wound to his abdomen and right hand. He was positively identified as the man who fired at the police. He was placed under police guard at the medical facility while he received treatment. Hold on, man. What kind of foolish is that? Tell me. Pull on the need for pull the plug. You understand? Pull the plug. One bad injection will do. 
No, but don't come tell me about to not treat this a boy. Treat him for what? To not have sense? No, 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 no. No form of treatment whatsoever. All the things supposed to do to this boy, yeah? Makeup supposed to have up on him face. That is all. You understand? Underground him for go. So what I said, I mean not. I said, I know me already, people. Me not nah, take you back. Anyway, no. Make I move on. You know, say so triple murder, they go on a Spanish town. But the people are dead these days. Come like me, not even remember for you the online news. But anyway, people. Me and him already talk about one done already, which is the man Marlin with the talk about him. Guess what? One power, one. one. More shooting the guan over there now because you see before him did dead at about 8 30 pm. Reed, yes, my youth name, Athena Reed, age 34, was taking a shower right over by me. I didn't like spent. Did you tell them about the expense shooting, but me never tell no who dead. The youth did over the name, Athena Reed, age 34. He was killed. Yeah, man, the good man named us. Walk up on him and he might take him shower and I look outside bathroom and fix him business and live. Confirm this stone too. The same people in the community see how come over there come kill him. You understand? Because I walk the gunman them walk out. That's even like a bicycle him right. Anyway, I can move on and go to some more news in that Spanish town because somebody is still dead too. 43 year old Everton Lewis, otherwise called Funky of Crescent District, Spanish Town, was shot dead. Yes, people, let me tell you about one power, one for that now. At about 8 10 pm, Lewis was standing at a shop on Crescent District, Spanish Town, when he was attacked by Armin, who shot him multiple, 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 multiple times. Yes, people, I shot him there, and the man them same, and just circle him and fix him business. So they know the bad game they got ready. In dead, 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 right past spot. I don't see much killing, they really go on over there, they never hear about it. Remember, this is the news and I come by the news, you know. So, they can't go and confirm that they're dead for sure. I don't know, I'm not telling a lie already. Anyway, we can move on with the news. This encounter roadblocks in murder of nine-year-old autistic child. Investigators working to solve the murder of nine-year-old Gabriel King have met on yet another roadblock, according to commanding officer of the St. Jane Police Division, saying that Superintendent Vernon Ellis. Holland Ellis, let me ask you one question. You sure a roadblock? And then the money when you get to push it on the table or on the one mat, that is when you want to ask. Oh, look, I don't want to feel like Sonny can't come, come trick way you now. No, 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 no. People, here Vernon Vernon officer, yeah, man. I am standing here on the Fairfield Main Road. We're on Thursday, the 13th day of January 2022. Nine year old Gabriel King's life was taken away. His body was found with his throat slashed in a blue Audi. SUV. Since that time, the team of investigators, they have employed a range of technological, forensic and cyber strategies in attempting to make a breakthrough in this case. We've collected statements, we've even brought an expert on a motor vehicle of the exact make and model to the one young Gabriel was killed in on that day. Based on what was reported to us, the crime scene was reenacted. Several case conferences were conducted by the detectives. Earlier on this year, my detectives made an application for a production order pursuant to Section 21 of the Cyber Crimes Act for the mother of the deceased to give permission to have access to her cell phone. That cell phone has been in the custody of the police since January when this murder took place. On the 6th of September 2022, the production order was granted by the parish judge, stating that within 48 hours of the service of the order, that the key and communication cell site and other data surrounding the phone be handed over for the purpose of the criminal investigation into the murder of Gabrielle King. Through her lawyers, she is now challenging the order made on September 6th. This key aspect of the investigation is subjudicate, and as such, I will refrain from discussing that aspect at this time. Investigations are time sensitive, and the shelf life of some forms of evidence is limited. We were able to close a thousand case in three weeks through hard work, cooperation, and support from our citizens and persons close to the investigation. I would say that from the day of this murder, we, we have been faced with roadblocks, some non-cooperation, and some legal fencing from persons who should be readily assisting with the investigation. I take this opportunity to appeal to the public 
I am asking those who can help to support us, to provide us with the information that they have. I am appealing to the conscience of that person who has some information that can help to solve this case. To call Prime Stop at 311 or to call the National Intelligence Bureau tip line at 811, the perpetrators of this crime are still walking free. I ask that you find it in your heart to come forward and tell us what you know.